actually show information as to why this is valid and why it's more than just about a confidential record search. I think you guys had an, uh, a legal analyst on your program yesterday saying if this is just about documents, then it's a tremendous overreach. If it's valid and it's real, if it's tied to some criminal activity related to January 6th, that's fine. You folks know that I've been critical of the president's uh, conduct on January 6th. But if it's just about documents, that's almost absurd. That, that's the same thing that the FBI was investigating uh, Hillary Clinton for. And I don't remember them invading her home. So if you're Republican, the reason you're asking the act the way that you are the last 48 hours is that you really do feel like you're not getting fair treatment from your own government. And that's a very dangerous place to be. But there are pictures of documents Donald Trump flushed down the toilet. Does he not get the benefit of the doubt as well? Sure, and I think that's worth investigating. Keep in mind, what was that piece of paper? I think it, it had Elise Stefanik's name on it, if you, if you look at it well, very Well, Mick, closely. we can't, t I mean, in fairness, Mick, it was torn up. We don't know what was on it. I mean, no, go that's look just at a it. Fact. It says, it says, it says no, that's one guys, word. It said who, a lot of other, is. we don't know what the whole document said. You can see yeah, Stefanik's name wrong. is on there, but we, I don't think we can extrapolate from yeah. just one word. No, I get all that. And listen, I am not defending destructing documents. That's no question about it. But keep in mind, the Presidential Records Act, by the way, I don't think this was related to the Presidential Records Act, at least not directly, because the Presidential Records Act, as far as I know, is not a criminal statute. It's in, I think, sec, uh, Code 44 of, of, of the USC, not 18, which is the criminal statute. So I'm not really sure how the Presidential Records Act ties in. Yes, the president has to keep almost everything, but not everything when you are the president. Again, if we're talking about documents, that's part of my point here, Brianna. You just invaded the home of a former president of the United States to look for documents. Why was it so important? Why couldn't it be handled by a subpoena? Um, wh wh why did you have to go in there when he wasn't even there? He was in uh, New Jersey, I think, during the time. Those are the types of questions that people are asking. I don't think this is an ultra MAGA response. I think this is a lot of reasonable Republicans, folks who have been critical of the president in the past, folks who may be running against him in 2024. I think Tulsi Gabbard, a Democrat, was, is supporting the president on this. There's a lot of mainstream Republicans and